Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and this is Small Stuff Big Family. We hit up the Walmart clearance and the Goodwill clearance, like 75% off Goodwill prices yesterday and I just really wanted to share it with you. You're still gonna get your normal video from me on Monday. This is just like a little bonus video. You're gonna be shocked to see what some of these things are in this pile that were only 75 cents, a dollar to 25. I mean, seriously, it is amazing the things that you can find if you're just willing to dig a little bit for them. Them. So if you like this type of video, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to, sub to subscribe because you'll get a normal video from me coming out on Monday and let's get right on into the haul. I'm going to start off with our Walmart haul. This is a $3 sweatshirt that I got on clearance. It says cool, cool, cool like daddy along with these $3 cheetah pants or leopard print pants that I got for my youngest daughter. She is getting ready to size up to size 5. I thought that these would look really cute together. The next thing I got from Walmart was this coat for my youngest stepdaughter. This will be her coat for next year. We always get the kids a new winter coat during the previous seasons, like clearance end of the year sales. I've already picked one up for my other two daughters. My boys actually are in pretty good shape with their coats. They might continue to wear theirs next year unless I find a really good bargain, but this was only $13 normally a $20 coat, so I picked that up for her. Next up, I found some really cute dresses on clearance at Walmart for the girls' daddy-daughter dance that's coming up in a week. This one is for my youngest daughter. These were all normally $11.88, and I got each of them for $7, which is a pretty good deal. That's a little bit more than I would typically spend, but I thought these were all so pretty, especially this one for my youngest stepdaughter. She is going to flip out over this. There's actually a ballet recital costume that one of the other classes, not hers, but another class has that is similar to this, that she really kept saying that she wished she got to wear this for her ballet recital. It's very similar to this with the cheetah print pattern or, or leopard print pattern, whatever you call that, in the black sequins. She is literally going to flip out over this. And then this one is my oldest stepdaughter's favorite color. It is super flowy. It's got the little flowery detail with sequins um, on the top half. This is going to look really cute on her skinny little figure. I think it was really worth it splurging on those dresses for them. Next, we're going to get into our Goodwill haul. This was a shirt that my husband found. It is Nautica brand in really, really good shape. Cute little plaid shirt that he can wear on date nights or family functions. He really likes wearing these plaid flannel shirts. He also needed a pair of work jeans. He actually got two. He got these Urban Pipeline jeans and he got another pair of Levi jeans. The jeans, I believe, were $5 each and the shirt, I believe, was 4 I'm not 100% positive on his pricing, but still super affordable. That's the best place to buy jeans or, you know, dress shirts like that if you can find them in really good shape at Goodwill. Next, we got some clothes for my younger stepdaughter. She really doesn't need a whole lot because she's not moving up in size. She did need a new bathrobe, so they had this cute little Hello Kitty one that was in good shape that we went ahead and got for her, and we only paid $3 for this one. Next, I found this puffer vest that I got for my youngest stepdaughter. It's Climate Concepts is the brand. I'm not sure what store that originally comes from, but this was really, really nice quality. This was only... Four dollars and it was 75% off so that was a steal really good um, deal that we got there this one was 25% uh, off green tag this is going to go over my um, younger stepdaughter's daddy daughter dance dress that you saw with the black with the leopard print it did have this one little snag on it but that's really easy fix you just trim that off otherwise it's really in perfect shape and will be really nice for her to wear until she gets too hot from running around at the daddy daughter dance and then I'm sure she'll take it off and toss it to the side um this one was an Under Armour hoodie that we got for my oldest son he is 13 pretty much all he wears is hoodies and this was only $10 that would have been easily like 40 or 50 bucks in store this I got for my younger son he is eight this is a size up from what he's wearing now but when it's timeless pieces like this that are in like perfect condition I usually go ahead and buy them in the next size up and, and just put them away for them especially when it's 75% off like this one was so this was a 75 um, cent shirt that normally came from Jamboree I don't know how much this would have cost originally, but I guarantee it's a lot more than 75 cents. This next shirt is a Faded Glory. It's another shirt that was um, only 75% because it was 
75 cents, I'm sorry, because it was 75% off of $3. And this is from my oldest son. If he's not wearing a hoodie, he's wearing something pretty cozy like that. That's like dressed up for him. <laughs> and then this is going to be my younger son's Christmas shirt for next year. I thought that this was really cute and will look really nice with some black um, jeans next year. 75 cents for this one as well. What a steal. That was all I got for the boys this time because they really aren't needing much. But my oldest stepdaughter, on the other hand, she is really going from her size 8 to the size 10, 12. She's growing super fast, tall and skinny girl. I got her a new bathrobe just like her older sister. It's got the cute puppy dogs and snowflakes on them. Nice and cozy for the winter. After bath time, it was only $3. And then we got this fleece little pullover jacket. It was normally $5, but it was 75% uh, off. So we got this for a dollar. $1.25. Um, amazing deal. And then just like her younger sister, I got her a, another puffer vest in the size 10, 12, because again, she's getting ready to grow out of the ones that she currently has. She'll love the peace signs on this. This was $6, but 75% off. So we paid $1.50 for this really cute, warm and cozy puffer vest. And also for our tall skinny girl, we got lots of tall skinny jeans for her. This pair is super cute with the little embellishments on them. These are Wonder Nation brands, so they originally came from Walmart. I'm not sure how much they would have cost normal price there, but they look like they're in absolutely perfect condition. And the little details are super cute. We only paid $3 for these jeans. The next pair of jeans that we got came from The Gap, and these are the super skinny fit jeans. Again, they look absolutely brand new. And, I mean, the best place to look when you're looking at kids' jeans in particular, just any kind of jeans, really, is the butt, the knees, and then the bottom of the legs. If those areas look like they're in good shape, that's a good in indication that they have probably rarely been worn. And they also have the elastic waist in this, which is really helpful for our tall, skinny girl. We also got these gray um, skinny jeans that came from Children's Place. Again, $3 for both of these pairs of jeans. Well, for each pair of these jeans. I also found for her some cute little athletic shorts that she loves to wear in the summertime. These were 75% off, so these were only 75 cents. Again, brand new condition. Now this shirt that I got her does have some pilling on it, as you can see, and I typically try to avoid shirts that have pilling like this. However, we have had this exact type of shirt before, and I can tell you that pilling happens like almost inevitably pretty quickly, even when you buy these shirts brand new. This was 75% off, so it was only 75 cents for this shirt. And honestly, in the winter time, um, they mostly just wear regular clothes like this on the weekends or, you know, in the evenings or on non-school days because when they're in school, they wear school uniforms. So I think even though it had some pilling, the fact that it was 75 cents off, that's more than good enough for her to wear around the house. And then we did find a uniform shirt, which was in brand new, I mean, stark white condition. It looks like it was never worn or just very, very well um, taken care of and laundered. So we got that in her next size up so that she can wear that probably this spring for school. And this one was 25% off, so we paid $2.25 for this one, which is a bargain for a uniform shirt. We also got her this cute little flannel shirt. This was another $0.75 cent, um, flannel shirt, and I think this is going to look really, really cute with the gray jeans that I showed you just a little bit ago. That'll be a really nice, cozy, you know, winter, spring outfit for her. Last but not least, I found this Descendants shirt. Oh my gosh, she is going to love this. It was only a 75% um, off, so we paid 75 cents for this. Graphic tees, you know, a lot of times the graphic will be really worn if it's been, you know, worn and washed a lot. This had a little bit of wear to it, as you can see, but it wasn't terrible. It'll be perfect for her to just play around the house in, which she is going to absolutely love. Moving on to the Goodwill finds that we got for my youngest daughter. These had the tags on them, plus they were 25% off. So this was 70, 75 cents for two pairs of knee-high Anna and Elsa, well, just really Elsa, um, frozen socks that my youngest daughter had to have. 
I also have got her this little extra dance skirt. She is in ballet and tap, and this will look really cute with one of her black leotards. Some of her leotards came with skirts, some of them did not. So it's nice to have a couple extras. It was only $2.25 because it was a green tag. And then I felt like this was such a find. These cute little pink Nike shorts that look like they are absolutely brand new. There was no uh, tag on them to tell me how much they were. So the store just charged full price for them, but still, even at $3, these dry fit Nike shorts shorts are a bargain. This shirt I did pay full price for, but I could not help it. Look at how cute. $3 for this not right meow <laughs> shirt. It's Wonder Nation from Walmart brand. So, I mean, that's again, $3 is their normal clearance price. So that's probably what I would have paid gladly if I would have seen this in the store at Walmart. And then this one may be one of my favorites. She loves having pizza with daddy. This was another one that I paid full price for. It's a jumping beans brand from Kohl's. Paid $3 for it. Girls just want to have pizza. Isn't that the truth? This next piece, I'm not sure what brand it was. It just has like a little red heart for the tag. I did pay the full $3 for this, but we've had skirts like this before and she absolutely loves wearing them with just like a little red or pink shirt with some leggings underneath. It'll be a cute little Valentine's Day, you know, month of February outfit for her. This black glittery shirt with a little bow on it had the glitter still intact all over. That's another good indicator that it has been very lightly um, worn if the glitter is still intact and it's been very well taken care of and preserved. Um, the glitter would look very worn if it was not in good condition. Again, that was another 75 cent shirt that I think will look really cute with some black leggings next winter. This is another little flannel shirt that I got for her. This is Exhilaration brand. I believe that's Target if I'm not mistaken. I like the little lace detail at the bottom. And this is just going to be nice cozy with some like jeggings for her and her little cowgirl boots. This one again was 25% off, so we paid $2.25 for this shirt. These next two shirts came from Baby Gap and Gap Kids. They're both little graphic long sleeve t-shirts that'll just be nice for school or playtime during the winter. These were $2.25 each, that little puppy dog shiny graphic. And then this next one that's some kind of little woodland creature. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. A bear maybe? Groundhog? I don't know. It says hello. Maybe she can wear this for Groundhog's Day and it'll pass as a groundhog. <laughs> it's probably supposed to be a bear. I don't know. Either way, it's cute. This one actually had the um, store-bought tag still on it. doesn't say how much it originally was, but I bet if it came from the Gap, it was more than $2.25. This shirt I thought would be another cute little Valentine's Day shirt. I'm not sure what this brand is. Health Tex? I've never heard of that before, but Again, it was 25% off, paid $2.25 for it, and I thought that would be really cute for the month of February. It's like a long sleeve shirt, but it's almost got like a sweatshirt type of feel, like a very, very lightweight sweatshirt because it's got the band around the waist and the sleeve, the cuffs of the sleeves like a sweatshirt would, but it's super lightweight, so it almost feels more like a long sleeve t-shirt, maybe just slightly thicker. These little size five jeggings were 75 cents. I love this style of wash. It's probably not for everyone, but with certain types of shirts or like a, with a little hoodie, I think it looks really, really cute on my daughter. This last outfit is probably my favorite. These are both from Children's Place. The pants I did pay full price for, but they are so, so soft. I can't even explain the feel of these and they look brand new and are just beautiful. I love how these were made. Um, and a children's place brand, I don't think you can find jeans there normally for three bucks. And then this sparkly pink hoodie was only 75 cents there. Um, again, from children's place, it looks like it was not even worn. You would be able to tell if it was really overly worn because usually like the cuffs of the sleeves would be worn. Um, it's a good indicator. They'd be worn or dirty or the sparkle would have been removed from them. But these are just like it's perfect, and I cannot believe that we got this jacket for $0.75. Cents. I think this is going to make a super cute little spring outfit whenever you put it together with like a white t-shirt underneath. Sometimes we get decorative or houseware things. The only things that we picked up this time was a set of 10 hangers for a dollar and a cute little piggy bank for my youngest daughter. My oldest daughters, if you saw their shared bedroom, they both have a piggy bank on their nightstand. Lexi was the only one that didn't have a piggy bank. She just has like a vase that we keep her coins in. Now she has an actual piggy bank. That is it for this 
video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up before you leave and subscribe ring the notification bell new video coming out on monday i think you're going to enjoy it all right i'll talk to you guys soon i hope you have an amazing day thanks so much for watching Bye bye